A photography dealer ordered 60 Model X cameras to be sold for $250 each, which represents a 20% markup over the dealer's initial cost for each camera. Of the cameras ordered, six were never sold and were returned to the manufacturer for a refund of 50% of the dealer's initial cost. What was the dealer's approximate profit or loss as a percent of the dealer's initial cost for the 60 cameras? So, whatever the original price was, the dealer paid some original price. 20% markup, what we have to do, we take a 20, we change it to a decimal, 0.2, we change the decimal, we add 1 to make a multiplier, 1.2, so the markup is 1.2. So 1.2 times P is 250. Incidentally, if this stuff about percents increasing and decreasing is unfamiliar to you, if you're feeling really rusty on it, I'd highly recommend check out Magoosh. Magoosh has over 200 videos preparing you for everything you need to know, both on the math side and the verbal side of the GMAT. And in particular, a whole series preparing you for how to handle percents, which is one of the most heavily tested concepts on the GMAT quantitative section. So now we'll solve for P, and I'm just going to write it as 250 over 1.2. I'm not going to try and divide that out. It's going to be a decimal, and we're, as it turns out, we're not going to need to do that. That is the price the dealer paid for one camera. For 60 cameras, 60P, he paid... 250 over 1.2 times 60. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the decimal over and add another zero here. And then I notice 60 divided by 12 is 5. So it's 2,500 times 5. That is 12,500. That is the initial, that is the dealer's initial outlay for the price of the 60 cameras. So that's going to be the original. That's going to be the starting value of our percent change. So he sold 54 cameras. Six of them he didn't sell. So that means that 54 of them he sold. So he sold those 54 at a price of 250. So how much did he make? 54 times 250. Now I'm going to use a math change called halving and doubling. I'm going to take half of this which is 27, double this, which is 500, and of course if I have and double, I'm going to stay in the same place. Well now I'm going to use that trick again, except what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a, a going to have 26 factors of 500 and just put a factor on the side so I can double and half again. Half of 26 is 13, double of 500 is 1,000, and so now it becomes very easy to see that it's just going to be 13,500. That's what he makes from the sale of the 54 cameras. He also returned 6 at half the price, so half of his price, half of P, is 125 over 1.2, and then half of P times 6 is 125 over 1 1.2 times 6. Well, again, I'm just going to add a 0 here, move this out, so then I get 12, 6, 60 over 12, which is 5, and 125 times 5, that is 625. So the total revenue that he made from selling the, the cameras, that's 625. He sold those cameras back. And that means his revenue overall was 14125 So this is the end value. And we want to know what is the percent increase or decrease starting at 1250 and ending at 14125 Well, first of all, we know that it is an increase, so we can eliminate A and B right away. To figure out the percent change, what we need to do is, first of all, subtract them. So 14,125 minus 12,500, and this equals 1625. And we'd like to know what percent is this of the original. Well, think about it this way. We have 12,500. One percent of that is 125. If we multiply this number by 5, we've already seen 5% 5 
5 times 125 is 625. So 625 is 5%. And of course, 1,000, well, 125 times 8 is 1,000. So 8% is $1,000. Well, now if we add 1,000 and 625, we'll get this number here. So add these two percents. That's 13%. So it is a 13% increase, a 13% profit, and this is answer choice D.